Next up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, bone, joint and muscle health. Now we know it, it's fundamental to our overall well-being and mobility. And as we age, our bodies naturally undergo changes that can impact these areas. And this morning, joining us as we take a deep dive into the world of bone, joint and muscle health with two incredible experts this morning, Laura Johnson, CEO and nutritionist, and Bernadine Janse van Vieren, head of training at Phytoceutics. Because with the right nutrition and care, we can maintain strength and flexibility which is very important guys because I'm sitting here with a bit of a knee thing and uh, then I do realize I am getting older but it does help to talk about this so we can understand it. Laura Burney, a brief overview I think from your side of what you've seen in the field uh, the importance of bone joint and muscle health. Yeah so it's uh, incredibly important to maintain your independence and be injury free Bones need to be strong, your joints need to be flexible, your muscles need to be healthy, and um, ideally you want to maintain your mobility through life and be disease-free. You want to avoid osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, sarcopenia, which is the wasting away of your muscles. So following a diet and, and a supplement routine that's going to um, enable healthy muscles, joints, and bones is incredibly important. Yeah. As we get older, we need all the things to work well together. Mm. And we want to be mobile, we want to be flexible, we want the strength, we don't want to be frail and have diseases, so we want to keep all of the systems healthy, really. We are here to answer some questions this morning. Mike in Cape Town says, I suffer from joint pain regularly. Are there any specific supplements that can help alleviate this? For Mike, I would definitely recommend an omega-3. Omega-3 is an essential fatty acid. We don't get a lot of it in our diet, and our body can't make it. The ideal way to get your omega-3 is from a fish oil because the EPA and the DHA have been converted for you by the fish and they're readily available. And then turmeric, the active in turmeric is called curcumin, so that's also very good for inflammation and pain. It actually works via the COX pathway to reduce inflammation in the body. Also boswellia is very important. Boswellia also is anti-inflammatory but works via the LOX pathway, which is a different inflammatory pathway. And the boswellia is very good for the pain and the swelling as well. Collagen will also be important for Mike because collagen helps support the collagen that you have, but also stimulating new collagen growth. Vitamin D and the K2, which also work well together. Sure. And also hyaluronic acid, very good. Hyaluronic acid. The lubrication in the joints and then reducing the joint pain, improving the mobility that we spoke about. We have another question from Lindiwe in Durban, and Lindiwe wants to know what exercises are best for maintaining muscle strength as I age? Strength training, training is incredibly important, so maintaining the integrity of your muscles and cardiovascular training. Um, like you mentioned, flexibility is incredibly important, so things like yoga and Pilates, just so that you're stretching as well as tensing those muscles and joints. And then um, following a balanced diet and ensuring you get enough protein. So protein is the building blocks that help build your muscle. So maintaining that m muscle strength and size by eating enough protein and having enough minerals in your diet. We don't only need to do the weights as in weightlifting, but also body weight can be a source to create that resistance because we build the muscle by providing resistance for the muscle to grow stronger, enhancing the aerobic endurance of the muscle, the size of the muscle. And obviously when we're stronger, the stronger muscles mean stronger bones. Yeah. And cardio resistance also, so swimming, cycling, all those things that are helping the muscle strength, but also then the mobility and the flexibility. When you engage in any kind of exercise regime, it's important to include a variety of different, don't just stick to one yes. type of thing because the body's clever, right? Yep. Um, it is gonna try and find it's an easier bored. workaround. Yeah. Yeah. What supplementation would go hand in hand if you follow that healthy type of lifestyle with regards to exercise? Yeah, so there are so many that yeah. we could touch on. So I'll just try and summarize. Um, I think for your, for your joints, and this is something um, Bernie touched on, omega-3s are incredibly important um, for inflammation. Then you've also got curcumin, and then with the addition of um, boswellia for your pain, inflammation, and swelling. For your bones, calcium, vitamin D, vitamin K are all incredibly important. So is magnesium, which is a mineral. So those are crucial for your bone health to prevent things like osteoporosis. And then um, for your muscle health, uh, collagen is great. Um, it contains amino acids that help build your muscle. And um, you know, just staying hydrated is also incredibly important just for mm. bone, muscle and joint health. I think it's also important to note when it comes to these type of supplementation, it's not like an over-the-counter to stop a runny nose, right? This is something that you need to, it's, you need to incorporate that into your lifestyle. It is a long-term type of process. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Especially with bones. I mean, we have in them yeah. our whole life. You know, it's not something we just want to 
treat periodically or help periodically, but actually to look our whole life and focus on the bone health throughout our life. Yeah. So even teenage girls need to look at their calcium that they're taking before their older age. You know, it's not just something you start taking when you're 40 or you're 50. Exactly, exactly, right. Uh, thank you very much for the information. Maybe a final tip for our viewers out there from our two experts with regards to bone, joint and muscle health. Yeah, so I think something that's lesser known is, um, you know, something like cold therapy can be incredibly beneficial mm. for your, um, your joints and your muscles. And then also gut health. I mean, we talk about gut health a lot, but if your gut is compromised, you're not going to be absorbing the right nutrients. So you can't absorb your calcium, your magnesium, vitamin D, in order to maintain that bone, muscle, and joint health. So just making sure that you have a good microbiome or healthy gut mm. is super important. I think a lot of people forget about their diet. The leafy greens, especially nuts and seeds, those are also very good, rich source of calcium. People often think the milk is the only source, but the, the greens and the plants are also very important for us as well, helping with the alkalinity in the body. And magnesium, like Laura also mentioned, I think is forgotten about. It really is a holistic approach mm. and, a, and, a, and a lifestyle approach to this. Ladies, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Always walking out of here filled with uh, huge amounts of information. And uh, so we've learned so, so much about maintaining our bone, joint and muscle health this morning. I hope you at home as well. But uh, here's the thing, because we have something for you as well. You stand the chance to win a 1,000 Rand Phytoceutics voucher. All you need to do to enter is uh, take the Phyto Health quiz on phytosutics.com forward slash expresso. Uh, very, very easy to find. Remember those T's and C's do apply and you can find that on our website as well, expressoshow.com. Optimize your gut health with Phytosutics range of pre, pro and postbiotics. Use code expresso for 15% off at phytosutics.com.